Welcome ladies and gentlemen back to another SLG Meetup. Today I have the pleasure to be here with Diane. Where are we? We're in the Mosaic in the penthouse, um, in the middle, right in the middle of Miami Beach. And we have this beautiful background Miami. in a beautiful sunny day here in Miami Beach. What a place to be, correct? Correct. So I'm very excited to have you here and to have in this conversation today because you're one of the most successful real estate brokers here in Miami and I have the opportunity to be sitting in this magnificent penthouse, 6.5 million. Tell us a little bit about this particular property and also about yourself. So this penthouse is probably you know, one of the only ones in this price range on the ocean with five bedrooms. Um, it has a potential to have an incredible uh, up rooftop terrace, and um, the, you know it, it, it's it's not as much as there could be right now. But you could have the hot tub and the kitchen and all the different things that a lot of people like to use in the in the penthouse. The a good part of this has been redone uh, by the people that own it now. And it's just really clean, great lines, light colors, easy to live with, and obviously there's nothing like this view. Mm -hmm. No, the view is, and we're going to do a tour later on, but I love that it's like almost like 360. You can see yes. everything, and you see water everywhere from any corner in the property. That's one of the things that live in Miami makes it so special, right? And tell us about yourself, because this is not your only property that you have for sale. You've been doing this for many years, very successfully. So how has been your career in real estate here in Miami so far? So it's been a while. <laughs> it's been a long, a long road and a lot of different twists and turns. But um, by the way, for those that are watching and listening, Diane is a superstar. Like she's very humble and mellow, but you've accomplished things that a lot of people in the industry will dream of to accomplish. So that's why it's an honor to be here and to listen to how your career has been and what you really think that it's going to continue happening for yourself and for the industry here in Miami. Well, but real estate and Miami real estate has changed so dramatically since I, mm -hmm. I, I got into it. I, I originally got into it because um, my husband was approached by someone that had a, a rental business. They were renting out uh, related properties so people would buy them, he would rent them out, and furnish them and all that, and then manage them for them. And that was in a very, that was like in 1999. Oh, wow. Yeah, it was a while ago. And so but he needed financial backing, so he called my husband, and now we were, you know, helping people, because people didn't want to, they didn't know if they wanted to buy, but now they could buy it, rent it, and it's in the whole thing. So, so my husband said, but you could be working with him. You could be selling all those properties. And I'm like, I know, but I'm not a broker. He says, so go get your broker's license. I got my broker's license. I opened up and partnered with this fellow. And, you know, so, and, that, and that's history. So I, so I opened up my own company in 1999, December of 1999. Wow. Right? And um, in, in um, 2015, I had uh, multiple offices, uh, 100 agents, and Sotheby's bought my company. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, it's kind of a long road, but, um, and then the, the reason that I got into luxury, luxury sales was because at the same time, in 2000, my husband started to partner with Todd Glazer. Okay? We, so my husband, Todd did more of the build, my husband did more of the financial. Which for and those who listen and watch him, Todd is one of the biggest developers yes. here, so it's a beautiful partnership. Right. So, and then I did the sales. Mm -hmm. So from the very beginning, you know, where most people, you know, are selling, you know, less expensive properties, I was selling waterfront, brand new waterfront contemporary homes Incredible. from the very, very beginning. Mm -hmm. So that became my sort of MO, that became my reputation that, oh, she's just so, and people would sometimes be afraid to even say, you know, uh, would you list my property or can I work with you? You know, I want to buy something smaller, blah, 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 because they thought that all I did was multi-million dollar waterfront modern homes. Mm -hmm. So that's, but 
the truth is, is it is more fun to sell that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm sure. I mean, it's come a lot on. More fun. And, and listen, when when we talk about luxury real estate, the face that you see when people walk into these properties is speechless. You know, everybody gets so excited because it's not the same thing to be showing a house in the middle of nowhere versus waterfront luxury brand new home. Yes. It's all about the lifestyle and Miami offers beautiful opportunities to have an incredible lifestyle. So tell us a little bit about that element in real estate. How important well, is the lifestyle component? I mean, that's, that's why they're here. That's mm -hmm. why people come. They want the water, the sun, the sand. They want, they want this lifestyle. Mm -hmm. This particular property we'll do a little tour after and we're going to show exactly all the beauty has to offer. But before we get into that, I wanted to ask you, because obviously you said the real estate in Miami has been evolving and changing. What do you see now that the higher season, which it's crazy because it seems like it's a high season all year long, but what do you expect for the upcoming months here in Miami? So the inventory is starting to tighten up especially in single family homes, especially in single family waterfront homes. Mm -hmm. And it's not just because people want to come down to, uh, and, and, but I think people are, especially 50, 60, 70, you know, and older, are reevaluating, especially we're really evaluating our lives after mm -hmm. being stuck in the house for a year, year and a half, whatever, whatever it was. And, and, and people are understanding the, the value of the moment. And they're not going to wait to come down to Florida or come for two weeks. They're going to come for the season. And most people can work remotely. And our tax, uh, our tax schedule down here is a lot easier on people than it is in New York, than it is in California. Which is still going to the roof. Right. And they're changing it again. Again. And, and you know, we also get a lot of Canadians. A lot of Canadians. So, um, there's just so many multiple layers of reasons why somebody would want to be in, in South Florida. And not necessarily just you know South Beach, but South Florida, going all the way up the coast. Yeah, I mean, we've seen tremendous growth from all the areas of Miami, going all the way to Fort Lauderdale, West Palm. So it's definitely all across South Florida, mm -hmm. but I think that Miami is still the heart of where everything is happening. And we see it now also with the new developments. I mean, yeah. some really exciting new projects are happening, like the Baccarat, the Wall of Astoria, and now with the Denley coming as well, like Aston Martin almost completed. So those new developments, it what also brings the fire into the city, what brings the excitement, more product as well. But when it comes to the single family homes, I believe that that's where, as you said, it's tidying it up. So those that are looking to acquire those type of properties need to act fast. Otherwise, it's gonna become a bit more complicated moving forward. And just like everywhere else in the United States, some of these properties mm -hmm. become a bit more and yeah. people are, uh, you know, again, it's the limited product mm -hmm. and the high demand, so. Mm -hmm. Well, so let me ask you because you were talking about how you transitioned your career from the very beginning into the luxury sector and luxury comes in so many different shapes and forms and for some people, luxury might be time or might be something material. But I want to ask this question the same way that we do for any guest of our SLG meetups. What is really luxury to you? Uh, I, I, I can't really define it, but you know it when you see it, you feel it. It's a feeling. It's a feeling. Mm, interesting. It's interesting. That's, that's a good thing because a lot of people use it as an adjective or they don't understand a little bit how to position luxury but I feel that when you walk into a place that wow that, that emotion it's what you're trying to say that luxury right. represents and you know it you know it when you're there exactly all right and I think a lot of the new developers not new developers but the developers doing new projects mm -hmm. um, they know they know what people want mm -hmm. and even you know, not, not necessarily even single family waterfront homes, but all these new projects, the amenities are through the roof, which 
a lot of people don't want to have to worry if maybe they have a home in the Hamptons or maybe they have a home you know, out in California and they don't necessarily want to have another home. It's a big responsibility, especially if you are not there all the time. Mm -hmm. So sometimes people want a really luxurious condo and in a really luxurious condo, you can have way more amenities than you would have even in a private home. Mm -hmm. um, and, and then again, since COVID, I think people are reconsidering um, space and, and it's nice to be able to be outside of your own personal space, but in the space that's in still in your own property. 100%. Yeah. Oh, very good. So let's touch a little bit the personal side of yourself, because you said it all. You came out from an over 20 year career, from nothing to 100 agents to selling your, pro your company. And here we are in another spectacular property. So what has been, if there is any, key element that has helped you achieve this success? Uh, I, I, I know it sounds crazy, but my husband is very supportive and he always thinks that I can do more things than I can do. So, I, you know, he's like, sure, you can do that yeah, or yeah. you should do that or I'm not like, why? And he's like, because you can do that. And so sometimes when you think you can, you can. I love that. So it's the supporting system around you yeah. that helps you push forward. Also, you said, outside of this, that swimming was helping you. Well, so exercise, I, that, that's I mean, one thing, I, right? Yeah, I work out every day, but when I, when I swam for years, um, it was like meditative. Somebody can find another way to meditate, but that's how, what I found. And when I was under the water, quietly, by myself, for 45 minutes, swimming back and forth, anything that I couldn't figure out or thought about, it became clear, you know? So I think a lot of people find a clarity mm -hmm. also in meditation. I love that. And especially because selling luxury real estate looks very nice on TV, you know, with these shows and all the glamorous, and also even in social media when people post this great stuff. But the reality is that the day-to-day -day work is stressful. There is a lot of competition. So having that moment to meditate, I think it's a key element for success. So. Mm -hmm. That's well said. And a lot of people, you know, think meditate, I be, be like this and meditate, but in reality, it's like it's anyway, going for a yeah, swim or going for a walk or it's where you, you know, whatever you can be. Exactly. Where you have that quiet inner peace. I love it. Find, mm -hmm. find for yourself. So for those that are currently watching or listening, whether it's in the luxury space that touches all these lifestyle elements, if they're trying to either sell their property or move to Miami, why is now a perfect time or great time versus in the future? Uh, why should they buy now yeah. rather than? Well, I mean, it, it's that, that, that's such a personal issue. People should buy when they're when they feel that they should buy. You can't time the market, yeah. uh, so it's not about the real estate market. It's about what's going on in their personal life. If they should be buying yeah. now, but you know. The, the, the market has gone up so exponentially that it's it's hard to time these things. It's hard to say, oh, well, now is the time. So if um, you are if, ready? If, if, you're, you if you're ready to leave the New York and that kind of a lifestyle, or if you're ready to leave Canada or wherever you are, or if you just want to know that you have a place, you know, where you, where you, and by the way, when you do move here, family comes, friends come, you are never alone. Yeah. So when people think that they're leaving one thing to go to something else, oh, it's they're, better. they're not really. Because everybody comes to you. That's I have more visitations, more company coming, more family visiting than, you know, than, than, than if I was living near Somewhere. my family. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, that, that makes sense. So basically on a summary note, if you're ready to make the change, don't base it on what's happening on the market. Just make it because you're ready. Right. Well, I mean, we're going to be doing a little tour now in this beautiful Great. penthouse. And I want to make sure that everybody that is watching this to follow you on Instagram also check out what she's up to because it's phenomenal and very inspirational as well. For those that are trying to grow their real estate career or get into real estate or even trying to sell their house or come to buy, check her out. She's a very professional woman and very knowledgeable. So I really like the opportunity to be here with you today. And before we get into this great tour for the property, is there anything else that we're missing that you would like to share? Uh, 
No, I think you covered it all. Well, that's great. And um, thanks again for your time. It was a pleasure talking to you. And let's get into this. Thank you. Let's do